Eric. So, so Eric, start with you. Obviously, your, your shots hadn't been falling in recent games, but today, did you have a feel? Were you close before? When did you know that this was going to be a day? Uh, to be honest, man, I've had a feel the whole year. I just, I just been in a Stevie slump. You know, I, I always get one of those. Every year, it seems like it happens. Um, you know, but I got to credit my teammates, man. They, they really helped me through it. Um, you know, they, they always tell me to shoot the ball. We need you to shoot it. We need you to score. And, you know, I just got to credit those guys, man, honestly. Jimmy, you, you established the interior with a couple of early hook shots today. Just what did that do for your confidence, and, and how, how do you feel your offensive game developed? Uh, I feel like it was getting better. Um, you know, every game, I um, you know, I work on that. So when I seen those first two drop, I just knew uh, I thought I was going to have a good game. Uh, I've been working on my touch later this past week. Uh, so it's just all coming together for me. You just how, how bad you guys need this one. And, and actually, just sort of three of the last four getting the screw back a little bit. I mean, we needed it bad. I mean, looking at our record, we need every win we can get. So I think this was a great win for us moving on to TCU Tuesday. Eric, it seems like you're being asked to do some other things this year that you may, might not have had to do earlier in your career, moving the ball, you're posting the foul on some, distributing it more. Mm -hmm. it, does that affect your overall game summon as you get more comfortable with it? Do you think it makes you more dangerous in other areas? Yeah, I think it gives me more freedom. Um, my first two years, I was, I mean, my freshman year, I was, you know, I was a freshman. You know what I mean? I'm just spacing the floor and, you know, finding my seniors, you know what I mean, so they can score. You know, sophomore year, I had some more freedom. Um, and I, you know, I started to earn some freedom and, you know, some uh, green light, if you will. Um, but playing here is, you know, you're playing for hugs, man. And, um, you know, he's hard on you, but, he, you know, he gives you freedom if you earn it, you know. And so he puts me in, in positions to score. Um, and it's just my job to put the ball in the rim. And I finally did it again. Eric, did you find any more room out there today? Uh, you know, open shots? Uh, no. Nothing just, it was just happening. It was just, it was just going in like it's supposed to go in. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I, there's not a whole lot of space that I get in, in a lot of games. Um, you know, the, it seems like the times I'm wide open, I miss because I'm so surprised I'm wide open. Um, but just, you know, just blessed, man. I've been, you know, not in the dumps, bro, but it's, you know, it's been a long, whatever, it's two, two, three weeks. Um, I've been shooting the ball well in practice. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been having good mental days and, you know, come game time, it just hasn't been dropping for me. And I feel like, you know, it's really been taking a toll on me, you know, because it's my job to help the team in any way I can. And, you know, they need, they, they were allowing me to score. And if I'm not scoring, it's hurting the team. Um, and it's really, I ain't gonna lie, it's really been, it's really been hurting me, to be honest. That being said, what did it feel like for you today when you see those first two, those first three drop and you're in that rhythm, you're in that flow? Well, it feels like you're shooting the ball in the ocean. Um, I knew it was going to be that day when, uh, what was it late in the shot clock, first half? Trey had the ball on the, um, the right wing, and I came up and ghosted the screen. He threw it to me, and I threw threw it up, and it went in. So I, I knew it was I knew it was gonna be one of those days when that happened. So um, you know, but again, man, credit to my teammates. You know, they found me. Um, you know, coach. You know, he saw the ball go in. He, he you know he instilled confidence in me as well, and he kept drawing up plays, and you know he kept dropping. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, <clears throat> what did you think of the job that you guys did on the room today? Was that? I think we did pretty good on him. Uh, he's a good player. Um, you know, he was mainly left-handed, so I, uh, I caught, tried to do my best and keep him going left. Uh, I think we did pretty good on him. He still had a, a solid game, but uh, overall, we did a pretty good job on him. First time you guys have used that <coughs> two bigs, three guards <coughs> offense. Uh, how does that? How do you have to adjust when that's when you're doing that? Honestly, I like it. Yeah. Um, you know, we're we're so used to. I think we're so comfortable with having Trey out there. He, you know, he's a big, but he's more of a <clears throat> he's more of a finesse and perimeter guy, who's just <clears throat> so versatile that can get to the block and score as well. Um, but when you have James out there, it's it's a different look. You know, he's super athletic. Um, you know, obviously, I, I don't know the numbers. Let me look here. Four for five from the free throw line. You know, it's huge. Those are big time numbers for him. Um, and he helps us, man. He helps us defensively. Um, and he helps us on the glass. You know, he he's probably one of the best athletes I've ever played with. Um, and he's just now tapping into his potential. We've been on him since the summer. You know what I mean? I, when I was here in the summer, man, I was watching highlights and seeing sags and those guys block shots. I'm like, bro, James can do that. Because James was doing that in the summer in pickup. Um, you can ask anybody, man. He, I mean, you seen the block against, uh, who was it, Tech? He was doing that in the summer. <laughs> yeah, he had another one today. I was like, bro, you can be doing that every game. 
Petey, when Eric's <coughs> as hot as he is, you, you specifically start looking for him more? For sure. Even in timeouts, I tell Coach, run something for Eric. When he's making shots, he's very hard to guard. So I always look for him when he's making shots. Well, even when he's not making shots, I try to get him going early. So, yeah. Eric, you all have won three out of the last four, two over ranked competition. From your perspective, what, what's changed over this last week, week and a half? Um... Maybe maybe we have a little feeling that our back's against the wall a little bit. Um, it's getting to that point in the year where, you know, if you win games, it really helps you, especially in this league. Um, and, you know, obviously this game today, they're, or they're 15th in the country or something like that. Um, but honestly, man, it doesn't surprise me that we're beating ranked teams because we should be a ranked team. We just dropped some early in conference. Um, you know, those teams that are ranked above us, I'm like, there's no way they can compete with us if we play the way we're capable of playing. And I think that's what it's been. Um, we, we've had some inconsistency. Um, obviously, it starts with me uh, scoring the ball, um, and it, you know, it just trickles down, man. If they see me not, you know, not performing, then you know, it's going to be a trickle effect. It's just like you know, if you see hugs, you know, in a mood or whatever, it's going to it's going to trickle down. It always, that's how it is in sports, especially. Um, this doesn't surprise me that, they won, that we won, though. It surprised me that we won by three. I feel like we should have won by twenty, but um, it doesn't surprise me that we won. Eric, every time you shot the ball, it felt like it was going in. Did it feel that way for you? 100%. 100%. Um, like I said earlier, it, was, it felt like I was throwing the ball in the ocean. Um, and I haven't had that feeling in, it seems like, a decade. But um, I'm just blessed, man. Like I said, it's my teammates kept finding me, um, <laughs> kept getting me open. Um, and like I said, it's the past two, three weeks, it's all been my teammates instilling confidence in me. Um, you know, and just staying positive. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it has been a struggle for whatever, how many games that was, and I'm hopefully I'm out of it for good. What's the defensive plan, the last, their last possession? I mean, you missed the foul shot, leaves the door open a little bit, so you have to scramble. What are you, what are you guys trying to do, Petey? We don't foul. Mm -hmm. We're up three. Uh, I mean, contest the shot, but don't foul. If they make it, they make it. We go to overtime, play an extra five minutes, but overall just don't give them an um, one three. Good game against TCU, pretty good game today. Is there anything to, I guess, maybe top competition and Broom and Lampkin bringing out their better games from you? I mean, my coach just said that to me before I came up here. So like, you seem like you play better against, you know, better bigs. But, uh, I mean, me, when I play somebody who's uh, considered better than me, I just always get that edge, I always get that feeling. Um, and, you know, I need to just do that every game, not just because a big is uh, considered better than me. I need to do that every game. And, uh, helped his team win. So um, today I had a good game, and you know we came out with the win. So I'm happy with that. Key during the uh, last two games <coughs> has been you know, good first halves for you guys, good halftime lead, and then the second half, you know the other team kind of creeps back into it. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know maybe a couple months ago, or a month ago, that's kind of bad news. But you guys obviously persevered right. and, and held out these mm -hmm. last two games. So what's been the difference? Do you think these last two games that uh, over that hump, I guess. Practice the comp um the competition <coughs> like the competition level in practice the way we compete, I think that translates to the game a lot because in practice I mean it's real intense when we're going at each other so I say that helps us a lot going into these games. Kitty, were you close to not playing? I mean I kn we know you had the ankle injury. Oh no, I was gonna play. Yeah, I would have made him play. I was gonna play. <laughs> I knew one of you guys, I believe this was DeMar's first scouting report for you guys. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, I thought, I, I mean, obviously he did good. We won, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's, I, I, you know, I've been everywhere, man. I've been at four schools, and it seems like, you know, I've had plenty of different staff members and coaches and coaching changes, and I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like every time it's a assistant coach's first game, we always win. It's crazy. Um, but no, he just gives us a different look. Um, he's quiet. You know, he goes about his business the right way, and we, you know, we love him. I love having him here. Um, I think he's doing a great job. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you.